<laughs> Today's recipe is one that is sure to tempt us. And you could say it's a tempting, it's as tempting as one of the seven deadly sins, Tim. It's uh, based on greed, I understand. Uh, here to share a dish in the CI kitchen from her upcoming Spice Box dinner, we have U of I student chef Madison Evaristo. Welcome. Hi, guys. Thanks for having me. So, it's <laughs> that day. time of year. <laughs> yes, spice Box spice meals. Box. Mm -hmm. So Great. tell us a little bit about what you're studying at the U of I. So at U of I, I am a senior in hospitality management right now. Um, post graduation, I want to go into special events, or I oh, look, also like. Oh, look! Somebody's calling. They see you on TV right now. <laughs> oh, how flattering! We'll but. just tell them. <laughs> time out. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, but yeah, after college, I really want to go into special events, or maybe just stay in the food industry, work in um, restaurant management. But today, I have um, my special entree, which is going to be my bougie bucatini truffle alfredo i know okay, it's I, awful that but is i promise a lot I, I only know new alfredo <laughs> uh, yeah you see bucatini bucatini okay yes. you gotta have to explain what this yeah. is and, and why it's one of the seven deadly sins too that's your theme this year right correct so for this entree um i'm going to touch on the uh the sin of greed and greed i'm sure you guys know is just like being very um over overindulgent being very i don't know very extra like i don't you know, know what that is <laughs> yeah, yes, he does. Yes, I do. <laughs> we all do. <laughs> so this, we, we didn't really hit on it, that your theme is seven deadly sins. Correct. So mm -hmm. this is your entree. Correct. Greed. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you were going to tell us something about that bucatini. Oh, yes, bucatini pasta. So bucatini pasta is very, very similar to spaghetti. Only, the only difference is that there's like a hollow inside. So there's going to be like a hole throughout the whole, okay. like the pasta. So it's like a straw? Kind yes, of? yes. All right. Yes. Pasta straw <laughs> a little thicker fantastic. than spaghetti, a little, um, and thicker than uh, angel hair. You too. used a okay. bunch of other adjectives when describing the yeah. bucatini. So tell us what goes yeah. into making this whole thing work. Yeah, no, we can. We'll figure that out. Okay. Do you want it on? Yes. Okay, please. you talk to Tim while I. Figure okay, this sure. Out. So uh, I see like mushrooms and cheese and and stuff, um, and we have a trick uh, trick oven. Yeah. <laughs> unlock, unlock it. Oh. I'm just here to try the food. Things. We gotta unlock it. It's my job. <laughs> uh, so what else is going into this? We have the pasta, but I'm assuming we're adding all this other stuff. Uh, yes, on we're top. actually gonna make a Alfredo sauce uh, from scratch, and then we're actually gonna where the truffle comes from yes. is this truffle oil, which is an olive oil infused with black truffle. Ooh, okay. You guys are familiar with black truffle is no black truffle is actually um a mushroom or a fungus grown in france underground and they actually use pigs to seek these mushrooms oh, out I have heard of this super now. yeah they're yeah. super expensive and that's where the bougie comes from and we're also going to top it off with um some 24 karat gold leaf oh my word. really this yes. sounds like a very very um, <laughs> fancy meal okay i've turned this on was that right do we yes, need to start correct. adding some stuff in here um let's get this will get oh, hot. Oh, to get yeah, hot first. I think it should be warm. Is that the down. appropriate way to find out if your pan is hot? Just stick your hand <laughs> <in> on it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I'm just, I'm just an amateur. Right? That's no, no, no. You at the I'm U trying to learn these. That's what I would do, but uh, I'm just making sure. All right. So once that gets warm enough, wh where do we begin? So let's begin with adding two uh, tablespoons of butter. Oh, I know what that is. Do it, Tim. Now I can handle. Just, just flop it right in there. Yeah. All go right. ahead. <laughs> you might have to time. get your. Spooner wow. fingers involved. Okay. <laughs> <Should I> spooner <laughs> fingers? <laughs> yeah, that big spoon. <laughs> See, yeah, that's a, that is a big spoon. <laughs> All right. Okay. Next. Awesome. Go ahead and add in two tablespoons of olive oil. Is that this? Mm hmm. Oh. All right. And that's the white truffle. This should be easier. No? That's not, not yet. That goes oh. on top. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All Got right. it. Cool. And we'll let that melt for a little bit. And then after that, we're actually going to add in some sliced baby Bella mushrooms. Oh, which yeah, we got right here. here. You can so we have to let this go for a little bit, she said. Oh, fine. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You well, can stir that thing from the living room with that spoon. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I found the biggest spoon try. in the kitchen. <laughs> let me try. Okay. So part of the spice box is actually decor and setting everything up. Mm -hmm. How do you decorate for seven deadly sins? Seven deadly sins. I thought it would be a very like kind of. Uh, okay. I kind of no. Go ahead. Right. <laughs> I thought it wasn't gonna come out. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um, it was gonna come out a little bit darker, a little more gothic, but very um, you know, just very like elegant like too. So nothing yeah. too, nothing too dark, nothing too. And what do you? What are the other? I mean, I know the other seven of the seven deadly sins, but what foods are you using to go along with those? So for Pride, it will be my bread service, and I will be offering um, a Hawaiian bread roll, 
And uh, why I offer a Hawaiian bread roll is because I will, I'm part Hawaiian for one. Oh. And then also um, the main, um, one of the key ingredients in Hawaiian bread rolls is actually pineapple. And in the hospitality industry, a pineapple represents hospitality and, you know, welcoming togetherness. Yeah. And I thought that would be, you know, since I take so much pride in being an HM student, I love that's what I wanted. And <laughs> carbs are one of the seven deadly sins too, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Okay, we've got this kind of going. Now what do we need to add? So we're going to actually let this oh, kind of yes. saute out for a little bit until it gets kind of a lot smaller. But after that, we're going to add in half a cup of cream. Okay. You want me to wait? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's do crank this up a we little, little bit. we got to have this the best. You, you are a what? popular let's, girl. Let's <laughs> just answer here. I think it's a... Hi. Yeah. Um, totally Madison's on TV, so she'll have to call you back. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I think it was a telemarketer. I think it was. Yeah, right. Okay. Trying to sell you life insurance or something. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat live TV, right? You sure can't. Okay, so let's remind everybody when your meal is. My meal will be um, March 13th, 2019, and you can make reservations at 217-333-6250. Or you can just go on to uh, the Spicebox website, spicebox.illinois.edu. And, and there's you a can, look at it. Yes. It has cool. everything that she's planning on fixing there, too, so you can get a little sneak peek at every course. I mean, there's a All lot of All seven food of the deadly sins. Yes. Including the carb one. <laughs> Instead of calling Madison, just call that number right there. <laughs> and we've got the link at ciliving.tv.